What is going on guys? My name is Roscoe and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I want to give you my pros and cons of owning the Adidas ZX4000 4D sneaker. Now I just want to give you my feedback because I went into buying this shoe blind. You know, I never owned a 4D sneaker, so, so without further ado, let's dive into it. A huge pro is that you're getting top-notch premium materials on this shoe. You know, the sole is super expensive and it takes a while for them to make it. What you're getting is you get premium suede, you get a full nice, uh, you know, really nice prime knit material, but you have these little details of nice stitching. I mean, they absolutely killed it. A top-notch premium shoe, probably the highest premium sneaker I own in my collection. Now, for a con, when it comes to great quality and it comes to a great design, unfortunately comes a steep price. Now this shoe is going to retail for $350 and that is steep. Not a lot of people can afford it. That's definitely going to turn a lot of people away. Why would you spend $350 on a 40s shoe when you can just go get, you know, an Ultra Boost and it probably does the same thing, you know? If you're going to be wanting this shoe, you're, you're, you're into sneakers, you're a sneakerhead, you're an Adidas fan, or even if you're a fan of engineering, you know, this is Adidas's, you know, equivalent to Nike's self-lacing sneaker you know like this is their top-notch highest quality highest technology that they have out there for 2019 by far with the 350 dollars price tag it's definitely definitely a huge con now this pro might be silly but it's a pro for me is that it came in a size 12. most 40 sneakers in 2018 didn't go higher than a size 11 and that was my problem other youtubers out there that wanted to purchase the 4D sneaker, but they we could never get it. Because I feel like if you want to purchase a shoe, you should be able to go get it. You know, immediately they should try to make all the sizes and it looks like they're going to with this shoe. So maybe, hey, maybe a con is the colorway on this one. And I would definitely agree with you. I could definitely agree with you. You know, you got your pinks, you got your, your aquas, and you got your hint of neon yellow. So it's, this is definitely not a colorway for everyone. Now a con that definitely led into a pro for me was that I never owned a 4D sneaker. I had no idea what like, comfort was. Adidas has been saying this is like the newest technology. This is gonna shape the way you wear shoes. But immediately when I bought this and I tried it on, wow man, this shoe is stiff. Like I immediately regretted it. I immediately regretted it because I thought the 4D was going to be super like soft, cushiony. It didn't do any of that. But I will say after time, after wearing it for like a good, you know, few couple weeks, uh, but the shoe does break in and it does get somewhat more comfortable. However, it's never going to be as comfortable as Boost. I hopefully that they change it up in the future. But after overall in time, it does improve. But does it ever get to the level of Boost? Absolutely not. So that's my pros and cons of owning the Adidas ZX4000 4D. Now, probably the main question that you'd wanna ask me right now is if I would go back and purchase this shoe again. And I would say yes. I would absolutely say yes. I think this is going to be one of Adidas' best sneakers for 2019 by far. You know, to the average person, is it necessary? Do you need this shoe? Absolutely not. I will agree with you right there. To see how far it's come as far as a technology standpoint, from wearing, you know, flat shoes when I was a kid to now uh, being 30 and having a 4D crazy technology shoe and seeing the design standpoint that they're now doing, it's absolutely insane. Thank you guys for watching my video for today. If you did enjoy this video, please smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. And like always, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.